I'm Patty Ann Brown, and you are in the Strategy Room. Tonight marks the third GOP debate this primary season, and the pressure is on, particularly for Jeb Bush and Carly Fiorina. The former Florida governor is trailing in the polls and has spent the past few weeks reorganizing his campaign. And the former Hewlett Packard CEO, Fiorina, is failing to keep the momentum she gained in the last two debates. So, who will be the shining star tonight when the Republican presidential candidates take the stage? Here now with their take, our political strategy. Democrat Joe Listingy and Republican David Avella. Thank you both for joining us. Thanks for having us. Right Thank now, you. according to a national CBS New York Times poll released Tuesday, Dr. Ben Carson is leading, followed by Donald Trump, Senator Marco Rubio in third place. Uh, Joe, what do you expect tonight? Well, I expect there to be a lot of fireworks, obviously, coming out of the Trump camp. Um, I'm actually kind of curious if he'll go on tilt. I mean, this is the first time he's really been behind, and uh, there doesn't seem to be any real... Uh, explanation on why Carson's ahead. His numbers do appear to be somewhat soft when you when you delve into the cross tabs of the recent polls. Here's who I expect to make a big push tonight, though, and that's Marco Rubio. I think he's going to stand out. If I was a, a contender in the Republican primary now, he's the one I'm watching. I think he's going to be the one that eventually emerges as a front runner eventually. But if I'm targeting this and I really want to win this, he's my target. Trump and Trump and uh, Carson. I think they're going to fade away soon. David, what do you think? Contenders become pretenders with one gaffe or one misstatement. That's why the pressure is really on all of the candidates, that it doesn't take much to have a strong performance and raise your stock. Mm -hmm. But for most, it's a peril of knocking yourself out of contention. And another number that came out of that CBS poll that's worth noting is that 70% of Republican primary voters aren't def definite on who they're going to vote for. So while the polls may say who they prefer right now, Republican primary voters are very much still up for grabs, thus why the next couple debates are so important for all of them. That's a great point. Uh, mm -hmm. Another interesting note, though, is that the poll also said that Trump's supporters are more set in having him as their candidate, as opposed to some of the other supporters who say they could change their mind. Uh, Joe, Jeb Bush, uh, his last chance now to bring excitement to his campaign. Can he pull it off? Well, I'll give, I'll give the Bush campaign some credit here. They have noticed that this is a marathon and not a sprint, and they are waiting it out. They trimmed back their budgets like they should, like every good campaign should. They've trimmed back their overhead. They're trying to hoard some cash. They have got to wait out the Carson and Trump bumps to then emerge as a viable candidate against Marco Rubio. If they, it, it, so the strategy is there. Now, the last time we saw someone do this was John McCain, and he did it masterfully in New Hampshire. Does Jeb Bush have that, or is he more like Teddy Kennedy, the, sort of the third Kennedy that's running for president? He's the third Bush. I don't think he's going to close this deal in the end. I think this is his only play that's on the table. He's done it well, but I still don't think it's going to be enough to catch Rubio or the other guys. He's really got to wait him out. David, can Bush make a comeback? Governor Bush needs a message that is more than I was a conservative governor a decade ago. And look, there is plenty of time to communicate that message as to what America would look like uh, after uh, a Jeb Bush presidency. Uh, and he also has history on his side, Patty Ann. Uh, Republican primary voters have flirted with uh, outsiders for a long time in many elections, uh, but ultimately, uh, Republican primary voters always go back to someone with government experience. Now, that's not just Governor Bush. That, that's Senator Rubio and Senator Cruz and Governor Kasich and Governor Huckabee and not intentionally leaving anybody off that list. But um, it, it is oftentimes, in fact, uh, we haven't announced or nominated, I should say, an outsider since 1940. And mm. ultimately, for one of these outsiders to prevail, they're going to have to get people who don't traditionally vote in Republican primaries to come out and vote. It's a very tough task. And why you see the Bush campaign and the Rubio campaign and, and many of those hovering right there below the, the, right. the, content, the okay. tier uh, one candidates right now, they're all hovering there but building an operation built to win in New Hampshire and Iowa and South Carolina. All right, we want to move on quickly to Carly Fiorina. Joe, she did really well in the last two debates. Uh, can she get back that excitement? Well, this, is, this goes to what David said earlier. I mean, you can't really win a lot of votes, at a, really hard votes in debates. It's just not something that occurs. We want it to be that way. We want debates to be these major influential uh, winners for, for good candidates and, and all that. She did a great job in the debate. She got a, a quick bump and couldn't maintain the momentum. 
This might go actually back to her practices, the actual application of a campaign. She's got to seize the momentum and keep it going long term. That takes a lot of money. That takes a lot of press and a lot of buzz. She just, it's almost like it was squandered. If I was on that team right now, I'd be so frustrated because all of a sudden Carson, who is the quiet guy at the debates, gets this huge sustainable bump for a while and gets to ride the financial benefits of that. Carly's got to put up a really great performance again tonight. The pressure is unbelievable on her because she could go the way of Walker if she does not do well here. There's yeah. just resources will start to dry up. Yeah, and this debate is uh, focused on uh, financial issues, the economy and whatnot uh, might be something that Carly Fiorina can shine in. We will have yeah. to see. All right, Joe and David, we're going to have to leave it there. Thank you for joining us. And you can check out foxnews.com for more on the 2016 presidential race. I'm Patty Ann Brown. Thanks for watching. Thank <laughs> you.